Wait a minute. Are you... human? You really shouldn't be here. It's... it's not safe. Follow me. I'm serious, follow me. The full moon's gonna be out soon, and then... And then I can't protect you. Can't you run any faster? Hurry up. You're gonna get yourself hurt. Okay, I'll slow down a little bit, but please, try to keep up. Okay. We should be safe here, at least for now. I'm going to have to leave soon. If I stay here, then I'll hurt you. What am I? <laughs> well, I thought it was obvious. I'm a werewolf. I know I look pretty normal right now, but that's kind of how it works. I'm gonna run as far away from here as I can. And then, when the sun rises, I'll come back for you, alright? I can lead you out of the woods then. For now, just stay put. My name? <laughs> well, I guess I might as well tell you. It's Clara. What about yours? I suppose I should know your name as well. <laughs> it's a nice name. Alright. I promise I'll come get you. So please, don't go anywhere. I don't want to lose you. It's easy to get lost in the woods, and even easier to find yourself hurt. Hey! Hey, it's just me. I'm sorry if I scared you. Long night? <laughs> I know that I'm exhausted. I can never really remember very well what happened when I was... <laughs> you know. Sorry, it's... It's hard to talk about. Sometimes I've woken up and been covered in... Just... Evidence that I've done things that I wish I hadn't. Alright, let's get you out of here. Take my hand. You move a little too slowly for me, so... I want to make sure that I don't accidentally... Outpace you. I'm used to walking through the woods, so... I forget sometimes that footing can be precarious for people who aren't used to it. You're alright, right? I forgot to give you a look over. Did you manage to get any sleep? No, huh? I'm not surprised. I'm pretty exhausted myself, but I'm sure you can imagine why. Anyway. So, why were you out in the woods at night anyway? Well, 
It's a stupid idea. I hope you've learned your lesson. You're wondering if I live here? Well, yeah, I, I do. The rest of my pack has an encampment just south of here. It's kind of hard to get to if you don't know what you're looking for. Which is the point. We live off of the land for the most part, but there's a few of us who actually go all the way out to their regular day jobs, buy food from the grocery store, and then come back and live in a tent in the woods. Can you believe it? <laughs> that kind of life is not for me, I'll tell you that much. Anyway, it's not too much further, okay? What do I do, day to day? Well, there's a lot to be done. Getting water, tending the garden, collecting firewood, chopping up firewood, looking after the young ones, you know. We're a community, and there's a lot of work to go around. It's pretty hard to get bored. We're not really supposed to interact with outsiders if we can help it. Besides the few who actually, you know, work outside. So, um, I'd prefer if we kept this whole interaction between us. And just to be safe, you really shouldn't come back to these woods, even during the daytime. You could be in real trouble. I could be in real trouble. Well, um, I guess this is the edge. Do you know your way back home from here? Oh, you have to take a bus. I've never been on a bus. Would it be alright if I were to... just... accompany you home? I'd really like to make sure that you get back safe. And then... Well, it's a chance for me to kind of explore places I've never been before. Don't worry, I'm really good with directions. I'll be able to find my way back afterwards. And besides, I can take care of myself. You, on the other hand, I'm a little bit worried about. No offense. So, can I come with you? Oh, fare for the bus? How much is it? I actually do have some change on me. We aren't totally without money, you know. Not that we really use it within the encampment, but we still have it, just in case. That's all? Oh yeah, I definitely have enough. Don't worry. Like I said, I can take care of myself. And I have tons of experience with babysitting and just helping out young mothers in general, so I'm really good at taking care of other people too. Not that you're a baby or anything, <laughs> just uh, I'm just letting you know that I'm responsible and I'm used to being responsible for other people as well. So it's seriously no trouble. I'd just feel a lot better if I knew that you'd gotten home safely, like I like I watch you walk up to your porch and go inside. Does that make you uncomfortable? <laughs> uh, I'm glad. Yeah, the more the merrier, right? Alright, I guess, um, lead the way to the bus stop then. How long have I 
been a werewolf? <laughs> I mean, it's a fair question, but my whole life, I was born like this. Can people just become werewolves? Yeah, I mean, I think how it works is if I were to bite somebody while I'm in wolf form, and then, you know, the, um, something in the saliva, I guess? As long as they survive the bite, then there's a decent chance they'll become a werewolf too. But if I were to bite you right now, I don't think anything would happen. Except maybe you'd have a bite mark. And before you ask, there's not really a cure for being a werewolf. Believe me, I've looked into it. What, you think that I shouldn't want to be cured? Well, you just seemed confused. Like, you can imagine why it would be inconvenient for me to be forced to turn into a wolf once a month. It's not a particularly pleasant process. And like I said, I've done things I regret. Whoa. Are you seriously just gonna flat out ask me if I've killed someone? No comment. I'll let you make up your mind. It's funnier that way. Look, if I were just a wolf, not a person, not a werewolf, just a regular old wolf living in the woods, how do you think that I'd survive? What do you think I'd do if I happen to run into a person and they threaten me? Anything that I could have done. Not that I'll confirm or deny. It would have been kind of the natural order of things. Not the actions of a mindless monster. Just something that an animal would do when put in that situation. I'm sorry to get so defensive about it. The truth is, it's a complicated balance. I was raised to consider the natural world an extension of myself. So for me to pass judgment on animals for killing to eat, killing to protect themselves, it doesn't seem fair. But at the same time, I don't want to do either of those things. I mean, I say that, but I have gone hunting before. In human form. I mean, probably in wolf form as well, but my mom and I, we used to go hunting. She taught me how to shoot a bow. I'm not that great at it. I kind of tend to stick with trapping. Whenever I'm left to my own devices, that is. Different people in the community kind of handle food. I've been doing a lot of gardening. And you'd think that I mean like vegetables, but there's a lot more to it. We make our own rope, our own clothing. So we have to harvest our own cotton and hemp and all sorts of other things. I've been indefinitely taken off of food related jobs because um, it's kind of embarrassing, but I really just can't seem to help myself from eating as I go. Even if I'm not hungry, I'll devour an entire basket full of blueberries, and then... Let's just say... You're not really meant to do that. <laughs> Doesn't leave a lot for the rest of us. So yeah. I've been delegated some other responsibilities. Still important stuff, just less eating. 
What kind of chores do you do in your everyday life? Huh. It sounds kind of complicated. But I'm sure my chores sound complicated to you. It's just two different worlds, you know? Leave the community? What, you mean like permanently? Live here in the city? <laughs> I suppose I've considered it. But... Um... It's not as easy as just moving out. After all, I'm used to a completely different way of life. It would be a hard adjustment, and no one from the community would come with me, so I'd be doing it all alone. It would also mean that I'd leave my family and friends behind. I haven't been to elementary school, let alone high school, so I wouldn't be able to go to college and get a job like that. There's just a lot of roadblocks standing in the way. If I could be or do anything? Well, I don't know. That's a good question. There's a lot of stuff that I'd love to try out, at least once, but... Because I haven't tried any of those things, I don't know if I'd actually want to do them for the rest of my life. Like, I'd love to sit down and watch a movie in a theater sometime. That always sounds fun. I've never really seen a movie. I've heard about some important ones and picked up some cultural knowledge here and there, but... I haven't actually watched a movie. Maybe I'd go to a theater, realize that I love movies so much that that's all I want to do for the rest of my life watch and talk about movies. Or maybe I'd find it boring and just forget all about movies in general. So I guess the answer to your question is just try more things. If I had all the time and money, I could go anywhere and do anything. I would go everywhere and do everything. Then I'd come back home and think about it a little bit. I just want to experience stuff. Like the bus. Oh, what a coincidence. I didn't realize this was a bus stop. Huh, there's a nice little bench. It's got gum stuck to it. I think I'll just stand. Is that normal? For bus stops, I mean. <sighs> that sounds awful. Well, how long do you usually have to wait? It'll be here soon, then? Cool. Um... I hope that I haven't weirded you out too much. I know this must all be pretty weird to you. Finding out there's werewolves out there, living in the woods. And then having one insist on coming with you. <laughs> I promise I'll be out of your hair soon. What? Really? You'd want to see me again? Well, um... Like I said, we're not really... We're not really supposed to, um... But... 
Well... Sorry, uh, I just need a moment to think about it. I guess we could figure something out. It would be nice to have a friend from... out here. And I mean... I like you. You seem fun <laughs> and interesting. And you haven't given me a weird look so far. You've been listening to me really intently. Which is more than I can say for most of my friends. I'm a bit of a blabbermouth, I know. <laughs> you seriously don't mind? Oh, is that the bus? It's big. Okay, so I just give the driver the money, or...? Oh, okay. That little coin slot thing there. I got it. Look at this! It's my very first bus ticket. <laughs> Neat. It's, uh, not super busy right now, I guess. Still pretty early in the day. Not a busy bus line? Fair enough. Is this town, the one you live in, big? Or medium? Or... Is it considered a busy place? I mean, it seems really busy to me, but I guess, relatively speaking, if it if it's considered kind of small, puts stuff into perspective. Jeez, everything's moving so fast outside of the window. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but... I'm kind of getting a headache looking at it. In fact, I'm just kind of worn out altogether. I think I might take a nap. Do people nap a lot on the bus? Oh, yeah, I guess if they don't want to miss their stop. But you're going to make sure we don't miss our stop, right? <laughs> <sighs> okay. Just a little while. <gasps> uh, oh. Sorry, you scared me. Quid pro quo, right? <laughs> well, um, this is it then? Okay, okay, I'll get up. Wow. This is the neighborhood you live in, huh? It's really nice. There's more trees than I was expecting. But I can still hear all of those city noises. I don't really like those. Even in human form, I have pretty sensitive hearing, and a sensitive sense of smell. So, places like this, they just... It can be really overwhelming. There are a lot of new smells around here. You know what? I have an idea for how we'll meet again. 
I don't have a cell phone or anything, so I can't exactly just text you. But here, take my sweater. Don't worry, I'll be okay. It's a pretty warm day anyway. I hope you don't mind that it is a little bit sweaty, but it'll make things easier. Basically, anytime you want to hang out, just come back to the edge of the woods and make sure you're wearing my sweater. I'll be able to smell you. Then I'll come running and say hi. Yeah, I can smell my own scent for a very long ways away. It's kind of important for the way that we uh, mark our territory. <laughs> I guess that makes you my territory now. Just joking. But when I smell another living thing that kind of smells like me wandering around, then it sets off a bit of a siren in my head. Usually it indicates that someone I know is nearby. You know, my mom and my dad, they smell a bit like me too. Or if I lent some of my clothing to the other kids. So, yeah. Just bring the sweater, don't wash it keep it on you. Come to the woods, and I'll meet you. But don't come inside the woods. Just right at the edge. It's safer that way. What? Why would it be dangerous when it isn't a full moon? Oh... You have a lot to learn about the forest. Don't worry. I'm more than happy to teach you everything I know. And in return, you have to teach me some stuff about the city. Is it a deal? Awesome. Well then, I, um... I guess this is goodbye for now. Yeah, I'll miss you too. Which means you really have to come by the forest soon. I'm serious. The first opportunity you get. And don't forget, the sweater, don't wash it. Yeah, I know. Next time you bring it, I'll swap it out, give you a different sweater that I've just recently started wearing, and I'll clean that one, okay? That way it won't lose the smell, but it also won't get really dirty. I told you I'm responsible. I think all sorts of things through. Come up with great plans. You really think I'd make a good mother? <laughs> Sorry, I, uh, I can't stop smiling. That's, that's kind of the sweetest thing anyone's ever told me. I'd love to be a mother. I can't wait until I have my own kids. My mom always tells me that Having kids shows you the world out of a different set of eyes. It makes you re-experience things in a way that you never could have otherwise. I'm really excited for that. I love experiencing just everything, as much as I can. Anyway, sorry, I uh, started rambling again. Thank you. I'm super glad that I've made a friend. 
and I can't wait for you to come visit. Alright, I'll let you go now. Um, goodbye. <laughs> I'll smell you later.